The war in Ukraine is in its second year and Ukrainians are still living on a constant danger. The war has affected not only me, but millions of Ukrainians, many families separated like mine. I'm Dmitro Pritolenko, local producer for Al Jazeera English. And between us, I have never seen so much grief. At 5 a.m. Uh, I woke up uh, because of the sounds of explosions. I checked my phone and I realized from internet that uh, the war had begun. So it was kind of a situation that we, at some point, we didn't believe. But at the same time, we realized that this is true and we need to do something. One hour later, I decided to go to a nearest uh, gas station. In a regular day, it takes me two minutes, but it took me two hours in order to get there. So many vehicles and cars and people were fleeing out of Kyiv. When I returned home, we started packing our things. We didn't know what to take, whether uh, we are going for a couple of weeks and then return, or we are leaving our home and we won't be able to come back. During the annexation of Crimea, I witnessed many families, many people moved away, fled from Crimea or occupied east of Ukraine in order to build new life. They faced again threat of the war. This is the situation how it looks like when Russia started the war in Ukraine. Many people fleeing out of Ukraine. My wife and son uh, living in Poland. Sometimes it's very heartbreaking. Sometimes she's very worried. However, she understands the situation. I don't have words how to explain what they're doing. She fully uh, supporting me and that I'm taking my responsibility to work with uh, uh, journalists. And uh, she's taking her responsibility to take care of our son. The hardest part is always when we go to some dangerous places. You're risking your life in order to show the war in Ukraine. I remember uh, we went to Bucha and I have never seen in my life so many dead bodies. I've seen all these bodies taken out of earth and put into their black bags. And it was clearly, particularly clear there were no soldiers, there were civilian people. People couldn't understand why they lost their loved ones. It was heartbreaking to feel all this grief. I think it's very, very hard to forget that. Putin called this special operation. However, this is not a special operation, this is a war. And losses of that war on both sides. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers are killed on both sides. I remember going to recently liberated villages, and particularly Torske, and there were dead bodies uh, of uh, Russian or pro-Russian soldiers around. Sometimes you think about like why you came here, why you came for that war. You will never forget the smell, you'll never forget this picture of the consequences of the war. Being Ukrainian, it's, uh, it's very, very hard for me. I'm always living through each single life and each single story that we are covering. It's very, very hard to witness because you understand this is uh, your country and um, 